who's here in the beehive. Scott Hansen, Blue Nickel Studios. He was nice enough to come up here and give us a little talk about what he's up to. <laughs> <laughs> I have wanted to take his class forever but can I know because I'm always scheduled to teach on the day he's teaching the class I want so um, someday I'm just gonna quit so that I can take the class I feel the same way <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe Jean will wanna schedule me on a different day cuz then she'll make money from me registering for the class Val, are you listening? <laughs> I can. I pay to take a class from Scott, and then I teach on another day. I think that works good. Works for me. Works for us, huh? <laughs> so, when did you start quilting? Well, first quilt, I was 14. Oh, see, I love hearing that, because I, I, my younger son, I had him make a little quilt that he entered in the county fair. But that's all I ever time. did. And then I made another, the next quilt I made, I was 20 six or so. Um, I started collecting quilts after I got married because uh, uh -huh. I like old-fashioned stuff and uh, and then my wife and I went to the quilt show and I said, hey, I could probably make one of these. So I bought and my first quilt, I remember the colors, it was lavender and dusty rose and dusty blue. Oh gosh, those are not Late those 80s. Are my, like, my <laughs> least favorite colors right now. It was 88, oh. eight, no, it was 89, we were married, so 89, 90, it was leftovers, oh. leftovers from the 80s, so yeah. So. And she's an artist too. But not a quilter. But not a quilter. Well, she does a quilt, she'll paint it and mix media, but she thinks cutting things up and sewing back together is weird for quilts, although she does make doll clothes and does the same thing. So, yeah, yeah so, I mean, yeah. That, I, I don't anyway, like that. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Everything, well, something for everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, when did you start actually designing? When um, was Blue Nichols born? Well, that's two different questions, really. Okay. But, I mean, because I started, well, first I started copying quilts. Like, <laughs> like taking I would the see old... a picture, and uh -huh. I like, oh, I can do that. So, I just, and I learned the measurements. So I made, well, actually, the first time I quilted with the baby quilts, I made for my kids also. I made a quilt for my grandmother, and I made baby quilts for my kids, and I didn't know anything about I thought the quarter inch seam was just the foot that was on my machine, but that was just a regular sewing foot, so it was a probably five eighths. Or yeah. No, three eighths. That's three kind eighths. of so, what clothes yeah. were done. Yeah. So, so, and I was, do, I learned to sew clothes when I was a kid with my in the home ec. Because back when I was a kid, you did home ec and shop. You, mm -hmm. Everyone did both. So. Did both, yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> so, nah, in fact, so. they don't even offer it, either of those, do they? Even offer I don't know. Those? I think they're starting yeah. to home, offer home ec again. Uh -huh. but. The first quilt I ever saw was uh, G's uh, dad made for my oldest son. Oh. That was, and he lived here in Sisters. Oh, cool. Back, back in the 80s, huh? I think yeah, well, my days. mom didn't quilt. So when we made my quilt, my, she helped me make the quilt. We, uh, and I told the story last summer, this teacher's thing. So we cry. <laughs> She crawled inside because we made this giant envelope and she crawled in the batting inside of it. <laughs> oh, oh, but she moved the batting yeah, in. inside of it because we made a giant the, pillow case thing, you know. The top and the bottom. So to get like a giant envelope and uh -huh. she, she, she was little so she crawled in there and put it all out and then we tied it with variegated acrylic yarn. And it worked, didn't it? I still have it. Oh, it's coming so apart I in some places, that. but yeah, it's, uh, but I love it's pretty that. ugly. So what about, heavy. yeah, well, it keeps somebody warm though. Yeah, my son yeah. when he comes home. Yeah. So, Blue Nickel. Oh, so, um, probably in the mid to late 90s, I want, I had uh, met Connie and Mary from Country Threads uh -huh. back in the day, back in, uh, they were, I had met them on, well, before online, because it was, there was a magazine called Quilt, uh, Quilt Sampler. Yes. The very first one, and they were in it. I said, I would love to run a quilt shop. I think it'd be so cool. So I wrote every one of those quilt shop owners. Letters because you wrote letters back then. Right. <laughs> you didn't text you did not, them. There was no text texting or email. Yeah. You wrote an so actual letter. So then you letter, had to wait like two weeks. Maybe they would answer. <laughs> and maybe you. they'd answer that. Who is this person? I don't know this person. Right. But so I became friends with Mary and Connie, and they invited me down to the quilt market in Portland that one year. Uh -huh. That happened to be the next year after that, and uh, I just thought that was awesome. So uh, I found a blue nickel, a, a nickel in a till, and I was working at a, a drugstore at the time. Mm -hmm. I found this nickel and it was blue, blue on one side, red on the other, and I thought, well, that's not, the blue nickel sounds like a great tavern name or a quilt shop name. I thought so, because <laughs> I was in the third you place. You drink or you well, can no, stitch. Well, no, there's this thing called third place. Uh -huh. Do you know what third place? Have you ever heard of that? So, uh -huh. so you have your home and your yeah. family and you have work, and you meet at the third place where the people are your peoples. 
like Cheers. Like Cheers, everybody right. Everybody knows your name. So, and so bars are a third place. Uh -huh. Churches are a third place. Quilt shops are a third place. That's true. And that's why, that's so I thought, and I wanted to call it studios because I didn't want to just limit it to just quilting because maybe I want to do something more. I don't know, you know. So, because I like to do lots of things. So it's Blue Nickel Studios. So it's very open-ended. So. And they can find you on the internet? Yes, and you have to spell nickel, um, N-I-C-K, E L, not like pickle, L E. So that is important. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, and we'll so. put that in a link uh, down below this video so that you will know. Yeah, how that's to get awesome. A hold of them. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. How many patterns do you have? I think right now I have. It's eleven or thirteen. I don't remember. Wow. Okay. And did you happen to bring the the trees? I brought the new version. Oh, the new version. I bought a new, a new colorway of it. Oh. Same, same exact quilt, just different colors. Okay, I want to see that. Yeah, that so. That's the one that I want to make. I yeah, yeah. am so, so... So this is brand new. This oh. is going to hang in the teacher stand this year. Oh. So. Oh my gosh. So very... Yeah, he's hanging I there. And then this, this is the dead girl. I, I don't know. She doesn't look... I know that's a weird print. But anyway, yeah. So this guy is swinging from the tree well, after there. It kind of looks like that... Uh, those swimming, you know, those girls. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to. It's, 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 a, it's called Neptune. It's a line from Free Spirit. And it's a. This oh, is all. These are all Free Spirit fabrics. Oh, it's left over from Quilt Market. I should probably get that off there. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah. I just love this pattern. And then these are blank. The the original pattern has actual leaves in there, but these are blank. So. Uh huh. I just and I remember. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Someone did a. Christmas version of it, like a silver, oh, yes. silver, not like a oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, that's, I, someone did a Christmas print one, which is really pretty too. Yeah. I think. But um, I they've just, done silver and blue ones. Yes. My favorite one, someone in Idaho did a. Instead of silver, they used gold in the light blue. Because oh. silver is pretty typical, but gold accent was really cool actually. Oh. It looked like Cinderella ish. Yeah. I love this fabric. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's and you have much. a line of fabric. I do, and I'm not. Oh, this quilt is out of the line of fabric. Okay, you were looking to see if you were wearing I don't, I don't, it. I, don't, I, don't. I, had, I had a, I had a bag today earlier. So this is a new pattern coming out this fall. Oh, so this is brand new, you guys. Yeah, this is not even out yet. There it is. This is called Looking Good because it has oh. neckties and bow ties and barbells to make the ties look good. So you have to work out some anyway. So <laughs> see, this see is the ties <laughs> down here. Neckties bow ties, and barbells, so, <laughs> and more neckties here at an angle. And this is all your fabric? This is all my fabric. <gasps> Everything in this is my, oh. this is my line. And I, there are 30 SKUs, so this is not all of them, but eh, a lot of them, but not all of them. Uh -huh. so. You kind of have covered a really interesting palette, too. It's I mean, very tertiary. I love this. This. The green? Yeah, you see, I love it, that. Here it looks green to me. Everyone calls it green, but I always think it looks gray, so it's funny. With batiks, you're never quite sure how it's going to come out. Right. And this is batiks? So, these are all batiks. Oh my gosh. Well, batiques. I have to say, I'm not a this, batik girl. I'm not either. But these That's, feel soft. And it hasn't been washed. It's not been washed. This has not been washed. Oh, I, I am amazed at this because I've always said... They're North Cot. And I... Oh, and see, I get... Uh, people get upset with me because I say batiks feel kind of creepy to me, and and then they make me. I totally have, agree. Yeah. And so when Karen asked me to design this line of fabric, I said we've had this conversation. Uh -huh. I don't like batiks. She said, I know. That's why I want you to design them. This is amazing. Thank you. I love the feel of it. This is like one it. of my favorites here. This is, that and this it? blue, I like that one. Oh, too, the so. feel is. This does not feel like yeah. a batik. It's even better than more it washes. Uh, well, it is. The fabric's washed once. But you once. said this has... The quilt's not been washed yet. <gasps> the wow. fabric has been washed one time. Uh -huh. I do pre-wash. That is amazing. But I'm telling you, this does not feel like... A, stiff. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That is so... It feels just like a regular cotton. Oh, so. yes. So what else have uh, you got This here? one is one only available through Missouri Star, and I'm teaching this on Tuesday. And this oh. one is called... It uh, was in there... Um, Block, mod block magazine, and there are copies in the shop, in, in stitching post. Stitching right? post, yeah. So okay. there are copies there. And there's there's a couple different block magazines. This is the mod block that's got the harmony uh -huh. in it. It says harmony. So, so this is called um, Flowers for Shirley. Uh huh. And it was after my mom died. I made this. Aww. And her name's Shirley. So. Aww. 
I think, so she, I think she would have liked it. And Missouri Star did the cool thing on this one. Oh, yeah. that is so neat. I mean, it really yeah. stands out in this. Yeah, and it, this is all grunge. This, uh, oh. And I'm telling you, I'm this liking This is the, a Bella cotton. So this is the Moda, uh, the solid. One of the Bella, Bella Moda solids. And, and everybody, else is, is, everybody else is grunge. Grunge. So. Mm -hmm. Grunge is really popular uh, I right grunge. now. Oh, I, my God. I could... I could have bolts of grunge everywhere. I would yeah. love it. So it's a good basic. So. And plus, it's fun to say. I'm, I'm quilting <laughs> grunge. Yeah, I bought, I remember one year, I bought a, when I came back from here, I bought a yard of gray grunge. And my uh -huh. wife looked at what is this? This is grunge. This is awesome. Yeah. It's gray. And it's like. I'm a grunge quilter. I'm a grunge quilter. So, um, so this is the only one, only one I bought today. This is another one coming out. The Probably before Looking Good, this one come out. Because this one is. Um, Called Stone. I was going to call it Fair Isle because I tried to base it oh, on Fair yeah. Isle sweaters. Oh, look at how pretty. But there's a quilt out there. And I said Oregon gal was doing something. She called Fair Fair Isle Fair Island or something like that. So uh -huh. I'm changing it to Stony Brick, which is the capital of Fair Island in Scotland, oh. where they make those Fair Island sweaters. Uh huh. So, so this is all free. This is all Jennifer Paganelli fabric. Yeah, I was going to say. Sis boom. I'll sis boom. Yeah, yeah, it looks but so much you, like her. Yeah, you know. I love her stuff. So if you look around though. On this island, no, just turn this way. Oh, they have a, quite a problem with rabbits, oh. <laughs> which I didn't plan that. And out of that, hey, wait, those look like rabbits, and that they were supposed to be actually. If you turn it back the way it was, I had made them, <laughs> intended them being things like rosettes, like ribbons and stuff, like like oh, prizes. Yeah. And, uh huh. But they look like upside no, down no. rabbits. No, they look like upside down <laughs> rabbits. Oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so, so Stony Brick is so kind of a rabbit problem. So you just incorporated into the story that they do have a rabbit problem. Well, I guess I might. I wasn't planning on that, but I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I love her stuff. She is like one of my favorite designers. Yeah, and uh, and it mixes with quite a few of her lines. It's, it's mostly Sugar Beach, but like this is her hand. She has some hand painting when she's doing now. Really? It's not hand painted, but it's right. based on her but, paintings. But I mean, I love this fabric. It has yeah. a very Asian feel to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, the look of it. She and I are good friends, so. Well, and this I, orange was like my favorite one. I so, oh, love that orange. Orange is my favorite color this year. I chose orange this year. I don't that's know why. Oh, the back of this. Look at the back of this. This is so freaking <gasps> Oh, that's that. <sighs> I had to buy this. I saw this in a group. <laughs> this oh, is the back. Oh, my gosh. I just like, oh, I have to have that. You can flip it either way. <laughs> I you know. I mean, you'd be happy no and matter what. I didn't what. buy enough, so I just put more orange on the side. But Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I used to piece my back like that, but I don't have time for that anymore. So, <laughs> so we are hoping that you're going to be traveling and teaching a lot more. As my day job allows, so for As now, until I can, allows. until I get less hours at my day job, but I have to be closer to retirement from that. So, yeah. Yeah. so I'm gonna try. It's yeah. gonna be a while, probably. Yeah. I'm supposed to go to. I'm going to Alaska, at the Valdez this September. Uh huh. Um, and then next summer here again, because I, I well, hopefully Val. She hasn't said yes or no, but I'm hoping she says yes. Oh, well, <laughs> she she loves you. She and, loves uh, you. So and then next, um, next fall I'm. Going to Northern California to Chico and Redding, I believe, or at uh -huh. least Chico. So, uh -huh. um, and then after that, I don't know. I've been invited. I've been invited more since I had the fabric line at market. I've been invited more places. I just don't have the time this year to go. We'll have to see how that goes. Right. So, um, right. I'm yeah. good friends with um, um, oh man, Quilter. What is his name? His real name. He's good. He's a guy up in uh, Edmond, uh, Edmonton, for far north in Alberta uh -huh. with all the kids, like right. ten kids. Uh, Sparrow, Matt Sparrow, oh, and yeah, Brandon yeah. Sparrow. So yeah, yeah. Matt said I can come up there, but it's a drive. So it's, it's, yeah. he actually lives on Highway Two, oh. which is the same highway I live on in Washington. It goes and all, you just the, way go all the way up. <laughs> you just keep going over to Idaho and yeah. up straight up. Well, we're hoping that that one of these times Alex will have you on the quilt show. We okay. still want that to happen because I keep pushing that. Oh, that'd be fun. That would be awesome. That yeah. would be awesome. I've met Alex. We've talked. I emailed once or twice to her, but yeah. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, it'll be, we'll put you all over the place. That's, that's what we want. Like so. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, well, thank we you. We appreciate it. And, and I am, again, maybe next year be able to move my days around. <laughs> So I can get in a class before he decides not to teach the oh. trees anymore. Oh, no, actually, I have new trees coming. 
Oh, you have new trees coming? I see uh, two new patterns. Well, one will be, one should be out by Christmas time, I hope, or by uh -huh. January. And then I have another one. I don't know if I can say, I have, a, I have another little tree pattern that's coming out in a specialized uh, location. After that, I'm going to republish it, but I can't really reveal that yet because mm -hmm. it's a secret. But Yeah, and see, so. I, uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me to do it on my own. I really need a class, and that's why to I get want started. The class. Yes, I am that kind of quilter. Uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. not a quilter that's going to take a, 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 a. To me, that looks like a, a complicated pattern. Although my girlfriends have taken your class, and they said, "Oh, piece of cake." Well, you have to concentrate. R oh, but. and. <laughs> But, it's, just, but it's not hard. I just, just yesterday happens. found my second grade report card, and that is not <laughs> my forte. <laughs> so I need a class, Val. But yeah, you have to focus, and yeah. it's hard to do. It's a little hard to do in class, but once you get it, you can do it at home. So, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to try that. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks thank you. for hanging with us. Yeah. And this week starts a very busy time, and we hope that you hang with us here.